Hello and welcome to the homework video for Friday, May the 8th for fifth grade. This is going to cover our lesson working with unit cubes and solid figures that we started today. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. So if we only have one block high or one block deep, if we have a uh, shape that looks like this, all we need to do is go ahead and multiply. So for number two, we can do four times five to get 20 unit cubes. For number three, we can do four times two uh, to get our answer, and that would give us uh, four times two times two, excuse me, uh, to get 16 unit cubes. So we have eight cubes shown here, and we have two rows of that. And then uh, number four is going to give us six. Number five is going to give us eight. Number six is going to give us seven. And so as we go down to number seven, we are going to write both numbers down and then do our comparison. So we would have six on this side, four on the other, and so six would be greater than four. For this one, we have five, and then we have five on the other side, which means we are going to be equal. For number nine, we are looking at any set of numbers that we can multiply three numbers and get 1,000. So my two easiest ones would be 1,000 times one times one, and 10 times 10 times 10. However, there are a whole variety of combinations that we could use uh, to be able to reach the number 1,000 by multiplying three numbers together. As long as you did that, uh, then you should have a correct answer. So number 10, uh, here are the four different ways that we can do that. 16 times 1 times 1, 8 times 2 times 1, 4 times 4 times 1, and 4 times 2 times 2 are the ways that I can get to 16. So for number 1 on the back, all we need to do is add these up. And so we have 4 on this side. Uh, one in the middle, four on the other side, that would give us nine total. I'm going to have four different ways for number two, and so these are the different ways that we can do that. For number three, I have given what is going to be something you use next year, an area net to kind of show the shape, and so we'll ask you to draw these about April next year, and then uh, we would have a triangular shape, and then if we were to fold all of that in so that all four of these lateral faces meet together at a common point or vertex at the top, then we would have our pyramid shape. For number four, we can just use elapsed time and count forward. So I would count from 10.30 forward three hours to get to 1.30 p.m. Then I would do a half hour to get to 2 p.m. and then my last quarter hour to get to 2.15 p.m. Number five, if we have a parallelogram, we are always going to have uh, congruent sides because the definition of a parallelogram means we have two opposite parallel sides on both uh, directions in the on the shape. So left and right sides have to be parallel, top and bottom also have to be parallel for it to count as a parallelogram. And so number six, uh, the tire on Frank's bike moves 75 inches in one rotation. How many tire rotations will uh, we have if we have 50 feet? So we have 12 inches in a foot, and so we would do 50 times 12. And I probably should have flipped those over to make it a little bit easier to do this. But we are going to have 600 inches. And then we can go ahead and divide that by 75. So I'm going to use my eraser to kind of move some of this out of the way. And so my first number here should be a uh, 7 or 8. Actually, I think it's going to be 8. So we would have 40 here, carry the 4, yeah. So it's going to be exactly... Uh, eight rotations to get the answer for that. So those are the homework problems for today. If you have any questions, please feel free uh, to reach out in Google Classroom if you're one of my students or ask your classroom teacher uh, if you're not. Uh, hopefully the demonstrations and so forth have been helpful. Um, I'm hoping to have the opportunity to do some more of that, but I didn't want to take the time with the homework video to uh, kind of map out all of the different answers the same way I did during the lesson. Uh, so if you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out uh, to myself or your classroom teacher. Hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday.